So for today's video, I'm going to go completely out of my comfort zone. I am getting my hair done. So like I've complained about in the last couple of videos, my hair is beyond dead. Like dead, dead, dead. But then I figured like I haven't done anything to my hair in a long time because I am so scared of change. Like I love just normal brown hair. But I think it's time for me to get some highlights done and that's what I'm thinking about doing. Plus, it doesn't help that my boyfriend literally tells me all the time that my hair is boring and he wants me to do something with it. Well, if your hair is boring, highlights is a perfect way to do that because it can be very subtle. You can put highlights. It's, highlights is not always blonde, very blonde. You can do highlights with 10 volumes. So it's slightly changing your color. Then you put a toner on top of it, not T18. Please, not T18. <laughs> But you can put a toner like a, a darker blonde on that brown hair and then you have like a shade of highlights or an ombre effect. So the, the, the tips are lighter than, than the roots. Very beautiful. Then it's not boring if you do ombre, just the, the lengths and tips. Then you don't have a regrowth. Then you are not obligated to go to the salon after six or eight weeks or ten weeks, depending how fast it's growing. But an ombre effect is really, you can, you can play with your hair with color and you don't have a regrowth. So this is always something uh, I recommend to my clients and it's really more modern than a normal highlight. The B4. Totally done my nails myself, by the way. Oh, she's already in the salon and it looks like cozy salon with with furniture like you are in your living room i'm a really big fan of hair salons that are taking the hair salon away from the normal hair salon and putting some furniture inside like it's 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 in the living room so you're more comfortable it's more cozy my salon is really a standard salon and yes i will do a salon tour one day but now it's not a good time because we are still restricted with, with some things for COVID. Uh, and there are chairs away from the mirrors because you cannot put every client next to each other. You have to be from a distance. There are glass windows between the washing bases. Uh, so it's not a nice feeling now to give this tour in, uh, in my salon. And hey, the barber room. You already seen the barber room. You have. This is it. He's putting it in foils. So it's not foils. It's like highlight wraps. It's paper. We use that also. It's like aluminum foil, but just with paper. It's doing the same thing. We are using also this kind of uh, highlight wraps. It will be kind of... Uh, Ombre because it's, there's a regrowth. Indeed, the title says, look how high he's putting the bleach. And yes, for an ombre effect, it's really high. <laughs> yeah, there is no blondes on top. You have to blend it in on top. You have to put some small pieces, maybe freehand, for blending in the other parts. So it's not gonna have any in the in the front then, like that. Yeah, yeah, there'll be some there. Okay. Do you want more up Laura's top? Color? I can put yeah. more up top if you want to hear. Yeah, because I wanted it like this, where it was like. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay, nice picture, nice picture. But of course, you have to know you are a different kind of brown, so your blonde pieces will be more warm. That's normal because you have another shade of natural color. This girl has ash, dark ash blonde. Many people will say it's brown. It's not brown. Brown is different. So it's a dark ash blonde. So if you put some ombre in that dark ash it will be more a cold blonde because the natural pigment of that girl is ash the girl that we have seen is darker 
and has more red pigments inside. You can see that. So if you put some ombre or bleach on that hair, it will be more orange. That's normal. It's the natural cause of your hair. So then you can put some brown, light brown or dark blonde on top of it, but it will be warmer than this client because the natural color is already ash. You have to explain that to your client. If they show you a picture, you have to explain why it's not possible to have the same result as the picture. Or if they want to have the same result, it will take more than one session, more than one application to reach that. If she wants that, she has to bleach her hair completely. All the red pigments has to go out of your hair. Then you have to put a dark ash blonde on top of that bleach. So you start with the base of an ash blonde and then you can put highlights in that or you do it in the same application. But it's not possible to have the same end result with her hair. And you have to explain that to your client. Not just it's not possible, clients have not the same knowledge or the same background. You have to realize as a hairdresser that clients see colors differently and see pictures differently than we are. We know from experience what is possible and what not. So you have to explain to your client why is it not possible. You have to have a good conversation with your client before you start. So you are on the same page before you start. You cannot say afterwards this is not possible. You cannot say it after the application. You have to say it before the application. Yeah. No, I do want to take the dead on. That's all for sure. I just don't want like super short here. Uh She's not wanted to cut very much. Ooh. So much. If your client is asking to not to cut so much, and again, you think it has to be more, like a client says, I want one centimeter of your length of the complete head, and you are seeing that the hair on the tips is dead. Yes, we see clients that has really fine tips, lengths and tips needed to have cut it like such a piece because it's dead. And they just ask this. Then I explain, look, in my opinion, it's important that you cut more. Otherwise it will split, split more on top. And then you have to cut more like in, in, in a few months. Uh, if the client still says no, I just want one centimeter, then you just can cut one centimeter. It's not important that you say you have to cut more, you will be happy afterwards. Let me tell you something, your client will not be happy afterwards, not. They're just going to say, I asked for one, you cut it four or five. I don't care if my tips are dead, I asked one so she's really dying inside and what's bothering me more is i don't see any clear line of sectioning yes again i'm here with sectioning it's just random piece up and cutting two long pieces on the front there want me short pieces or you want me to just blend it all in no blend it you could blend it all in you should blend it in i just want to like uh Shortish layers, not me, it's pretty short. My only hair short. As uh -huh. It's really annoying for every hairdress, for every hairdresser. So I see that she is putting her head like this. Like she's trying to look. It's really important that you look straight in the mirror. I see he's treating her rough, like putting her head like this. Sit still. So I know you're trying to look how much you are trying to cut, but it's really important that you put, that you sit straight in the mirror, otherwise it's uneven. So it's really important that you look straight. And you can ask politely. I always say, okay, can I ask you to look straight into the mirror so I can cut straight? If you don't look straight in the mirror, 
it can be uneven, so I have to cut more. If they ask for one centimeter, and I explain, if you look like this, I have to cut more. Yes, you can bet they are looking straight into the mirror. And looking at your cell phone or reading a book is really bad for your haircut. My hair is super short. No, the length is still there. It just looks like I'm cutting a lot because you had a long length. But I have layers, you have to cut. cut. That's true. If you don't have any layers and you ask for layering, then it appears that if you take the section on top, then you have to cut more, otherwise you don't have any layers. Yes, you can cut like this on the length, but if you want layers, you have to cut more on top. Oh! <laughs> That hurts. That are not fine sections. It's like, it's not even combed. Wooza. Wooza. You still got plenty of hair. Yeah. Nice hair. It's just not the, it's not the color I thought it was gonna be. What if you want it to be whiter? A little bit lighter. No, well, it really, on your hair, that's what I meant about a toner. Yeah. Um, as it is, it, it, it feels a little, you know, if I try to lift it too high, it's going to damage it more. You see, that is what I'm saying. So now she's saying, it's not what I expected. And he's explaining, it's not possible to have that same color. No, it was not possible. You have another natural color. So it's not possible. But the big difference is, now he's saying it after the treatment. You have to say it before if she came in my salon with that kind of hair with that color and she showed that picture the first thing i say was that's not possible with the color of your hair it will be different then i showed other pictures what it would look like if i color her hair in uh, an ombre effect and then she can say i don't like that or i can live with that so i'm going back tomorrow to basically do it again because it's just not what I asked for and the guy was super nice about basically making me happy so I appreciate that it's always a good thing to listen to make sure that your client is happy at this point she's not giving the salon one star because he's listening and she can go back what I see is on the tips it's less blonde than here and it's a blend line if she wants to go more blonde the difference between the natural color will be so big you will see the line where it starts you have to go very soft this will not turn good because if he will put some more bleach on that it will turn more orange so she will still not be happy so this was me bitching for about a minute straight, but I hope when this is all done that I like my hair, and if not, I'm taking the L, which breaks my heart. But this is not, like, this is not what I wanted at all. Like, I did not want short hair. No, I have short hair. No, you don't have short hair. I know what you mean. You don't have short hair it's still long of course it's a big cut on top and if you put your hair in a ponytail and these front pieces are falling out yes it's shorter but you still have long hair you st i'm sorry this is not short it's long short is different all right guys so this is gonna be an overall review on what the hell just went down so basically i went in to get a haircut and Balayage. Did I go on Groupon to look up the salon? Yes. So originally I found them on Groupon and I called him and he had a, an appointment like set up for me. So I was like, okay. So I looked up the reviews on Groupon and they were amazing. They mentioned his name and they said everything positive about him. Then I went on Yelp and I also looked up the reviews and everything was positive about him there too. So it was not one star review? So you did not 
go to the worst salon. Besides a couple of one stars saying that it was just unprofessional and blah, blah, blah. But overall, I was like, okay, I'm going to go. So he was super, super nice. Nothing against him. He was really, really nice. But when I showed him the picture of the hair that I wanted, he was like, okay, but this doesn't entail what the Groupon has. So I could do that for you, but it's going to be $100. So already I was like, fine, whatever. I'll pay the $100. Not a problem. Because I really wanted that hair and I had my, my mindset on it. And I didn't want highlights, which is what I told him. I did not want partial highlights. I didn't want highlights. I didn't want anything that was coming from my root down. So I, like I said, I'm going to insert the picture of what I wanted. And then this is what I received. Okay. Keep in mind, I wanted balayage and I wanted my hair trimmed, not short. So I literally in the nicest way to put it, it looked like I belong in in sync back in 1990 fucking seven. <laughs> well, clearly now it's ugly. Now it's ugly. He's trying to fix it, but it's got worse. What I'm guessing, and we did not hear that, was it virgin hair? And I guess not. I guess this was also colored in a brown color. And the haircut? There were no sectioning. It was one big uncombed clump. So that is the result. It's really choppy. Like this, look at my, how choppy my hair is, number one. Like number two, look at the back. <laughs> Like the back is completely, oh. like there's one highlight that goes so up over here, it's ridiculous. And then on top of it, in the picture that I showed, the girl had all brown hair. No, it's not brown. This is dark blonde. It's ash. Ash color, the same of the, of the model. Many people will say this is a brown color. Let me show you. Let me show you the explanation here of the... Can you read it? Can you read it? It's dark ash blonde. Brown starts at five. So here, this is light brown. Light brown. Look, for many people, this is dark brown. This is dark brown. For many people, it's black. So this is why I always, always, always talk to the client before we color or cut their hair so there are the right expectations that they have. If somebody says to me, I want dark blonde, I take my dark blonde and I say, this is dark blonde. The first thing, like 99% of the people say, no, I don't want brown, no. This is dark blonde. The hairdresser had to explain to you. That's a miscommunication between hairdresser and client. And like I promise guys, I'm not trying to be dramatic, but if anyone knows how to do hair, I guarantee you, you know that this is not balayage, like at all. It's, it's bad. <sighs> you can fix the color. It will be okay, maybe put some darker and blend it in so the, it will be more an ombre effect. I will be happy to fix that. I know my staff is really good in coloring and I know they can fix that. But the haircut, that's a whole nother story. And if you want to fix that haircut, you will have to cut more. And I don't think she wants to cut more. So that's really bad. I feel sorry. Have you learned from this video? Have you been entertained by this video? Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Press that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on Facebook. You can follow me on TikTok. All I'm going to say today is... Ciao, kiss.